Just like a mirror. Me and Jack, we're going ripple slough hunting today. You see the ties made off good like it did yesterday. Go that way. We can go that way. If you remember, we picked up two pennies and a piece of gray matter and something else in this little ripple slough down that way yesterday. So I think we're going to head... Hell, it's, I don't know. We'll go this way today. I'm hoping to get a call to go uh, dirt digging in the field, but I haven't got it yet, so I'm headed down to a ripple slough here. Stand by. I got the uh, SE Pro with the uh, sharpshooter on today and the 2.22 uh, Stava. First target was a pull tab, second target a meager penny. Meager! And the pro says we got a nice sound here, we got to stop fast on this one. Stand by, let's see what it is. Sounds good. From here it looks like five meager cents. Stand by. Five meager cents. Now this one sounds better than a nickel did. Might be another nickel. Or a pull tab. Stand by. Well it looks like a piece of aluminum. Or a cruddy old pull tab built up pull tab. <clears throat> From the shape, I'm going to say pull tab. We're not going to go too much closer for investigation. Stand by. I'm not sure what this is, but it sounds sounds good. It's not low though. It's high. Stand by. It's a cruddy penny, cruddy baby. You can see the slew's not too wide right through here. I can swing it almost in one complete swing. I can get the whole thing. I like to hunt on a high side though. I've had better luck on the high side over the years. I normally hunt this high side going down and the lower side going back up. But you can see I can make a complete swing and hit the whole thing. Hey. That's right. A lot of candy here today, I can tell you that. I don't want to show you too much, you'll have to take a lot of nitro pills. I already took three. Okay, stand by. A ripple slew. I got some pull tabs, I can tell you that. I may have to start uh, zigzagging. I see the rocks are picking up. And the, and the stuff is picking up. Trash, I mean, you know, a lot of more stuff in this part of the slough. Stand by. None of the beach anywhere from my house to here has had this cut. It's the only place you see it. I don't know how far it goes under the bridge. As you can see it's pretty good size in some places. Starts right there, about a mile from my house. Goes right all around. Like I said, I don't know how far around. Stand by, we'll find out. You can see it continues on under the bridge. You can see it off in the distance right there. Goes right along up to the gate there. I mean, the fence is Little Creek, the amphibious base where you can't go beyond that with a little J sticks out of that. I ain't found a thing in an hour, not one target. I'm starting to get the mumbles. I may turn around. Well, I may go a little further. Ah. You ready? Stand by. Well, this is a good, real strong mid-tone. Not too high, not low, but not high either. Kind of in between. Odd sound. Stand by, let's see what it is. Well, it was uh, two scoops deep. Sounds like a nickel. But it looks like a ring from right here. Crap, you stand by. 
It's thick like a ring. Sit down, Jack. Sit. Oh my God. It is a ring of some sort. Look at that. A blind hog has picked up an acorn. Maybe it's a gold ring and just dirty. Sounded like a gold ring that I got in my hand. But it could be stainless or titanium too, you know. Yeah, taquito. Stand by, let's see if we can see anything inside. I did bring some glasses with me today. Hold on. Well, there it is, 10K. Golly. 10K taquito. See it right there? I doubt you'll be able to see it, but I'll show it to you when we get home. Yeah, good googa mooga. Okay, stand by. We got us a ticket over for 2013. You see that ring came right out of this top of this ripple cut, ripple slew. You see, I was working this slew up, and the ring was right there, right at the top of that slew. Let's see if there's some more. I was gonna turn around, but now I got to go forward, forward. I say. Here we got the best sign we had in three weeks. I don't know if it's a shallow pull tab or what it is, but boy, it's knocking my headphones off. Stand by. Whatever it is, it's shallow right there. A damn piece of aluminum. Like a burnt beer can or something. God. Six scoops deep. 25 cents. First 25 cents of the day. God, I hope I don't get no more of them deep as I was. What do you think, Jack? Jack says, I'm tired. Let's get the hell out of here. This nulled out. Big iron nail, I think. But it seems to be in a boat. I mean, a ship. I mean, a piece of wood. <laughs> ah, I like stuff like this. I like gold rings, but I like stuff like this, too. Look at the size of that taquita. Stand by. And that's the business on a day like today. It's like 60 degrees now, they claim. Somebody told me a minute ago walking down the beach. No waves, no wind, just paddling along in a kayak or some kind of... I understand you're not supposed to say kayak anymore. That's not proper. I think they say the proper term is a watercraft. So he's paddling along in his watercraft on a great day to be out. Manpower, horsepower, paddle power, jack power. Right, Jack? Jack says, I got plenty of power, but I'm tired now. It's been here three hours, he said. We're still in this slough, finding the crap, but we ain't far from home. Stand by. There it is, Pull Tab City, aluminum, pennies, two quarters, two nickels, one ten K. There's the, uh, I'm going back to the same place that I'm going to the eastern. I'm going to spin to the, towards the eastern on Thursday. I went west today, I'm going east tomorrow, same spot. We'll see how it goes. Stand by. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'll probably get a close up with the camera. It says 10K and so cleaned up pretty good. Almost forgot about the cool thing I found today. I don't know if it's a railroad spike or a boat spike. 
It's big. You can see it's big. And it's iron. I guess they use iron. I don't know. You remember this one? I found it in 2007, maybe. Eight, I don't remember when. Similar. See the difference? This one does have a brass spike in it. It runs all the way through to the end right there. This is very similar. I don't see it sticking out. Well, there, I guess that could be it sticking out of the end. That's a lot bigger piece of bigger nail. <laughs> Stand by. I'll probably soak it in this water for three weeks, changing the water every week, like I did the other one, and then put some kind of finish on it. I'll give you some day by day shots or week by week, see how it looks. Stand by.